Tommy, wow, late drama again, and we're on the right side of it again. You've got to be over the moon with that. Absolutely delighted. I thought it was a really good tactical game. I thought Chris set up really, really well, and it was a great game. Um, it frustrating that I didn't think it was allowed to flow as much as it should have. There was too many stoppages for things that didn't need to be stopped. I think both teams wanted the ball on the pitch more than anything else. Um, but listen, you've got you've got to win games all sorts of ways, and we've done that this season. To be fair, we've we've dominated games from the start and won comfortably. We've come from behind. We've won late when it's been level. So, you know, like you said, we've fallen on the right side again this weekend. So we're absolutely thrilled, delighted. What I didn't say when I spoke to you on Thursday, and I didn't mention it at all to the lads, was I'm well aware that our next league game is not for another three weeks. Whereas most of the most of the, 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 the league will play at least one game between now and then so it's it was really a huge three points so whilst we take it as the same as every other three points we just knew it was a it was a, a really a, a little bit more than that to us today is it fair to say on reflection of the 90 minutes we, we did deserve that late goal I thought it, I thought it went backwards and forwards I thought these started very very well um, you know, about six or seven minutes, we couldn't get the ball off them, to be honest. And, and I thought, whoa, that wasn't ex exactly what we expected with the lineup that they picked. But we, as we do, you know, we were, we were patient. I thought, well, lads were patient as well when they got the ball eventually. And I thought we dominated the first half quite, quite substantially to the point where I think we could have gone in hoping it would at least be one nil up. But we didn't. They, they did well. Their goalie made a couple of really good saves, and everything seemed to be falling to either. I think it was Tyler or Loren, and Jack was like running around like a, a, a partic that particular kind of coloured backside fly, um, and not really getting a lot of sniffs at goal. And I just felt the pair of the strikers were getting frustrated. Um, but we, we we said it to half time, you know, just keep going, trust in what we do, um, and we'll get a chance. We'll get a chance. We knew we'd our fans used to score every time we play, and no matter when we score, we score. So I'll take it. And again, throwing Kwame on there with Laurent and Jack, there ain't going to be many defences in this division, are there? That are going to look at that and think they can keep a clean sheet. Yeah, like I've mentioned before, I mean, I, you know, don't want to give my secrets away too much, but they've all got different qualities. Josh included, Joe Haig included. We've got a really good blend of skill sets in the front lines, to be honest with you. But again, as daft as it sounds, I joked. I hope, I really do hope the the whatever has happened to Aaron Jones isn't a major issue because he's been outstanding since he's joined the club. Um, but it doesn't look good. <laughs> but I joked to the lads, it was a great substitution because Adji's yeah. gone in there, drove into the box and made the goal. But for our centre forwards to be all of them, to be between the posts in the 97th minute as the ball's coming across, it's inevitable we're going to get one of them on the end of it. And I'm absolutely thrilled for Lauren. It's probably one of the ugliest goals you scored, but it's probably most important in the fact it's won us the three points. Well, that's another thing, isn't it? Because you faced a bit of a dilemma before kickoff with Hadji coming back from international duty. Obviously, mm. Kobe kept his place, but being able to just put Hadji on like that is in, in a bit more advanced role than he's been playing mm. this season. But that's yeah. what he can bring, isn't it? Yeah, I mean, listen, the guy's an international footballer. He's a, he's, he's a great athlete. He's a great kid as well, a great lad. And it's not where he's played for, for me, but I, I think he likes to play out there. He likes to get forward. He likes to affect the ball in an offensive way as well as defending. But... Um, Listen, I don't think to a man I could I could criticise any of them today. I thought, like I said, it was a really good tactical show from Chris and his group. I thought they they set up really difficult to break down, um, and they had a real threat themselves on the on the counter. So, all in all, I thought it was two very very good sides, and we've pipped it. You know, on another day they could have pipped it, but we did. Delighted for Geordie, because um, when we were down to ten men, as, as Aaron was sitting at the field at the other end. He made two really good saves at his near post by just being brave and standing up to it. So, listen, from the back to the front, they deserve a huge pat on the back. They've had a hell of a week. We've we've travelled a long way. We've, we've played three teams in the top seven and we've come away with six out of nine, nine points and I couldn't really have asked for, for more. I want more. I wanted to have a point out of Rochdale, but we didn't... Out of uh, Rochdale, yeah, but we didn't get one. Um, but look how quickly we've turned that disappointment into pure joy on Tuesday night and then again I'm delighted to hear the fans at the end of the game and I'm sure when I go upstairs for a Diet Coke um, they'll be very very happy to see us up there.